let's take a look at the accessibility options built in to Windows 10. So if I go down here to the Windows icon at the bottom, I can select here where it says settings, just the second one up above the power setting. If I click on there, it gives me a number of options. If I just scan across just here, just at the very bottom of what you can see easily, it says ease of access. So let's double click there and open up and look at the options. So there are a whole lot of different options down the side here on the left. So we can look at vision options, we can look at hearing options and how you interact with the screen. So they've really thought about how to make it easier for people with vision difficulties, including color blindness. They thought about how things can be made easier for people with a hearing impairment. And also for people who have a learning difficulty, say something like dyslexia, that makes reading and spelling difficult. So let's just work through and have a look at the options. So with the display, you can make the text bigger or smaller. I'm just going to make this full size so we can read it easier. So you can make the text bigger and smaller. You can make everything bigger. You can make everything brighter or not so bright. Um, you can show animations, transparency. You can hide the scroll bar. Sometimes that's easier. Um, well, mine is set at the moment for showing notifications for five seconds. So when an e email comes in, you may want to have that to show for longer. Um, and then with the next one, show desktop background image. So you can have an image there in your background or you can choose to have it blank. And obviously if you're having difficulty visually, you may not want a image at the background. Now we can also play around with the, what the mouse looks like. So you can have a small pointer or a larger pointer. You can change it um, into different colors and you can show it where it moves around the screen. So you can actually have it so it just tracks. Whereas so you drag it across the screen, you can have little dots where it's been. Um, you can also, oh, did I miss all the things with mouse? That's a mouse. Um, with the text cursor, so I personally have this turned off, but this can help you see where you actually are, where the flashing cursor is. It just helps to highlight it for you. You can choose a few different colors and you can choose how thick it is depending on what your visual needs are. One that's commonly used is the magnifier. So you can have that to magnify everything on your screen, or you can have it so that as you move the mouse around, it will magnify um, certain things that you hold the mouse over. So you hold it over a word, it will magnify that, or you hold it over a picture, and you can magnify part of that. That may be useful even to some people who don't have a visual impairment, who are trying to look really carefully at a picture that they've got. Um, there's a few options with the color um, filters. So you can have it inverted, change the colors the other way around, you can look at grayscale or even invert grayscale, but I'm really interested in the fact that at the bottom here, you have the option to change the color. So if you are colorblind, you can change the red, green, red, green, or the blue, yellow, so you can read it much more easily. So that's a really, really useful one. You can change the screen to a high contrast so that you've got really big contrast between the different colors to make it easier. And they've given some examples here where it says, select a colored rectangle to customize what you'd like. So whether you want it highlighted, button text, and you can play around and explore those ones. Another option is the narrator. So for people who have a visual impairment or who are working and just want that extra support of what am I pointing to if they can't read it, um, you can have the narrator turned on and the narrator can um, will tell you everything that you're on. So if you hold the mouse over something, so you hold it over here and it will say what it is. Um, and you also have obviously the option to play around with the voices. So there's some set voices here. You can choose different ones. You can actually choose different languages if you're working a different language. Um, you can change the speed, the pitch, the volume. Um, so there's quite a lot of options there that you have about when you want to hear it, what do you want to hear. You can also have it so that if you are, um, have a visual, visual impairment, that it will actually tell you what you've typed or what you've, um, the letters you've typed or the words that you've typed. So there's a few other options there. For people with a hearing impairment, obviously the simple things that you can do is obviously to change the volume, but you can also turn it on um, mono and audio, and mono and stereo. So there's an option here um, to turn it to mono. So just everything into one ear or everything into the other. There is an option as well for closed captions. So you will have seen those as subtitles on movies and things, but you can actually have the captions on your screen as things are read. So that will help you if you, what is it saying? It will actually be able to tell you. And you can, you can see there's a whole stack of options you have there for um, changing what the captions look like. Now, this is the one that I use a lot with my students with disabilities for the dyslexia and other reading impairments or just that they're behind with their reading. So you can actually talk to your computer and it will dictate what you write. Now, the dictate has improved significantly since um, in the last five years or so. It used to be pretty 
dodgy, that what you said wasn't quite what was there, but you just need to be careful that you speak clearly so that it actually dictates what you wanted to say. Um, you can obviously use the keyboard, either use the keyboard, you can type onto the screen, you can move around and change the mouse, we've looked at that before, and you've got the option um, of eye control if you um, have a physical disability and you're unable to um, you know, use a mouse properly. So um, with the speech option, you can. there's also dictate, but there is actually an option as well that you can have things read to you. So in the narrator feature, you, those settings that we looked at for the personalizing of the voice, you can use when you want to use the read aloud function. Um, and I'll talk about that in a separate video, looking specifically at um, text to speech and speech to text. So I hope that's given you a bit of an overview of what you can do. And I don't know if that video recorded. Hmm. Not sure that actually recorded. I'll try that again. Recording.